from the Christmas special of Doctor Who, I was actually expecting cheesy, boring, talkative, and then he will either get rid of the bad guy by sonicking, sonicking them with his sonic screwdriver or talking to them and giving them a speech and then he would defeat them and then that would be the end of the episode while spending what the most of the hour not doing much but I'm happy to say that it was nowhere near that so Doctor Who was brilliant I'm about to go into why in a minute but one I think that if it's taken a year for Doctor Who to get good again I'm perfectly fine with that year now like it has taken that year for it to be good I'm perfectly fine with that year I, I'm actually happy it happened now that we actually got a better quality of Doctor Who episode now than we did last year um, and that's that's a good thing uh, but obviously it's been a year since the since since the last episode and I love how they've also incorporated that into the TV show saying that he was it's been 24 years to him through him uh, through Clara and River Song and other things like that letting him down he's having that kind of midlife crisis thing that I think Matt Smith had during his time as the Doctor uh, well, he's basically always in a man's life crisis. Uh, so, I think, yeah, that's good. Uh, but the main thing I want to talk about is the villains. The visions, I think, are great. They remind me a bit of those things last year with the heads, and then they would root the heads out, and then they would yeah, store stuff inside. It's a bit samey from that. Like, yeah, it is quite a bit. But they were never actually seen as the villain villain. The villain was actually... Um, the big guy that I've forgotten the actors who plays him, but it was actually the big guy, uh, Riverson's husband, uh, who was like really tall, and he was actually the main bad guy in that. So then they didn't, they didn't really explore it. So they've actually kind of got the same sort of character uh, ish with the scar across the face, and then they rip the face out, and then oh look, we'll stick our hand in here and reach something out. Uh, that kind of idea, but I think it's definitely taken. To a next level in this. Um, now, when I saw that the brains had flipping eyes, I thought, "Oh my God, this is <laughs> this is going to go badly." And I'm um, thank thankfully that we didn't have like a Marvel thing when there's like a float no Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and there's a flipping brain <laughs> just attacking them. Yeah, I'm I'm happy that that didn't happen. Um, well, it might, but I'm happy it didn't happen uh, very very much. Uh, I'm. Uh, and also I like the fact that these, it looked dark, it was so, so, like, dark in its tone. There was, like, thinking, they're going to scoop out his brain and put in their own. And he's got, like, liquid coming from his, like, something fluid coming from his brain, from his, from his scar and his eyes and... Then he gets ah uh, these weird surgeon brain surgeons just that was dark, you know. And then he gets put in the thing. That's dark. That that is what Doctor Who should be scary. Um, in a way, you know, obviously it's not scary, scary, but it's it's dark. Uh, the the second thing I want to talk about is I love the superhero. I thought it was going to be really, really stupid, like really stupid like insanely stupid um like he's a superhero because he comes from another planet of superheroes no we got something better than that we actually had a normal boy who ate this dwarf star slash stone which has actually given him the powers that he has and i also love the fact that he kind of got a bit of a superman thing about him but the superman thing isn't really taken to the next level of superman Look, it's pointed out it's Superman. Yes, so well, it is pointed out that it's Superman. But it's not... Well, it's pointed out that it's Superman, like, re a lot. Uh, I love the room as well, because there's loads of Marvel things and, you know, DC things and things like that. And I think that's also very cool. Uh, but the superhero costume itself looks pretty bad. 
I'm sorry, it does. We've seen it. We thought we we thought it was bad when it was revealed, and it, I just still think it's bad. Um, but something I do like is the fact how it's done in the story that they kind of, you know, it's not the baby's father; it's the baby's nanny that he is basically being a bit of a stalker, to be honest. But he's um, the girl that he likes is woman that he walk, works for. It could be complicated, but I'm trying to understand it. Uh, and it's really hard to try and understand something when you've got your mum talking about flipping wedding dresses and the, the wedding is not till the summer. Um, well, the... Wedding dresses? Wedding... Never mind. Um, well, the... I thought that the idea at first was good to do, then I started to think about it, I thought, oh, that's a good idea, actually. Um, and I felt that I, I really did care about, <laughs> I really did care about the characters that they were actually in, uh, and I actually cared about the characters. I cared about his, trying to keep his identity secret, but still trying to protect the people that he loves, and things like that. And I think that's quite cool. Um, I also realized that the doctor kind of disappears for a bit well he i actually didn't really care about what the doctor was doing i was actually caring about the superhero date thing going up upstairs going up on um on the roof um and although the doctor stuff was really cool i felt like matt lucas really had a, a bit of a thing this episode he wasn't exactly needed but he was in it and he gave a bit of light humor and things like that to it uh and that was good um, I felt like the their ending to it was definitely great. I felt like that was that was definitely the best bit. Uh, so the ship that he can't that's coming in is going to smash. It's going to smash into the planet and destroy New York. And he and the bumbling idiot guy comes out and he goes, "I'm the granny." Yeah. Yeah, I, I I felt like that was good. And then uh, he does this, and he actually sort of catches catches the ship before it hits the ground, and obviously explodes. Which they could have probably put a little bit more time into that. But obviously, I wasn't really listening to him, to the doctor. Uh, and it lands in his hand, and I just felt that that was a little bit cheesy maybe, but it was it was good, it was good cheesy. And then she realises that he is the superhero, the ghost. And uh, I also I love the shots before it's about to hit, so you can see the reflection of the, um, of the ship in their eyes, and then it goes to black, and then he's, he's, he's him in his hand. I thought that was clever as well. Um, and then finally, the the very, very ending. So we see that something really creepy has happened to one of the doctors, and that doctor is called John Sin, no, Doctor Sin or Sim. Uh, and I loved, I loved this. This was, this was, this was clever. So they've completely emptied him. They, he, there's no eyes, there's no brain, there's nothing inside. But then one of the security guards from Unit turns turns around, and you see that he's got the scar across his face. That that that's good, and the title itself, the Return of Doctor Mazurka, was actually the Return of the Doctor. Why why didn't I realise that? Um, and also the brilliant thing at the end is what we saw something for Series Ten, which I'm definitely going to go into detail in a few days. So I thought that this Doctor Who episode was pretty good. Um, I enjoyed it. I also hope that you've enjoyed that I've using a different software and stuff like that to edit the video and make it look better because I've got a new laptop and I can do stuff like that now. Um, because it's taking me about an hour to struggle through getting it all re ready to be able to make this video. So I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a like. Come back in a couple of days for my uh, Series 10 preview analysis. Uh, and I'll be going through each shot and there is some pretty there's some great shots and there's some weird shots and terrible shots that I'm going to talk about as well and it should be a lot of fun and I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is been I am DAG Studios. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you give it a like and I will see you in a couple of days. Goodbye.